there's just still plays in the passing game that A&M can still make. But I think they found their formula now. And uh, one of the questions we kept asking Jimbo Fisher was, you know, do you, do you know what your identity is? And I think A&M has now, over the past couple of weeks, found their identity, found what worked. And uh, it started with just simplifying things, frankly. Um, 38 carries again tonight for Isaiah Spiller and, and Devon Achain. And you just see you're – those two guys are able to are you probably your best chance at creating big plays, uh, and they open things up in the passing game, make life easier on Zach Elzada. And so, thirty eight carries for for two hundred fifty six yards for them is kind of the formula, um, and it, it helps A and M control the game, keep them in good good down and distance. And the offensive line is playing better and better now. Uh, the healthier they've gotten, uh, Bryce Foster is continuing to get more comfortable. Ruben Father, he's getting more comfortable. Those are true freshmen. I spoke, I spoke with somebody earlier this week who who kind of looked at 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 uh, AM playing two true freshmen on the on the line of scrimmage, and that's that's not easy to do in the SEC. And so those two guys are are continuing to get more comfortable, and uh, that'll be something that you know will will definitely help. And um, if you're looking for good signs on the defensive side of the ball, I mean Tyree Johnson again. Um, thought there was a little bit of a scare there. It was. It looked like a bit of a non-contact injury, but you could see him standing on the sideline with with ice on his calf. And so um, there will probably be more of an update from him as the week goes along. Jimbo Fisher will not have his media availability this week uh, with the bye week, so that's one thing to know. Um, so injury injury wise, will probably be uh, we'll find out more as as the week goes along. But you know, for AM, it's 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 a chance to to kind of build on this and and there's a lot to there's a lot to really you know to to build off momentum wise and so uh just playing cleaner is is probably the biggest thing because there's a challenging it's a really challenging stretch for AM to finish with and so that's that's probably the biggest thing and then just stick to the running game i mean that's 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 just where a i mean if you're looking on for the defense side of the ball Thought this was the best game of the year so far for McKinley Jackson. Um, that was a terrific sign. He had he had a sack uh, in the second half. I thought he was really active. Uh, and remember, he missed the first couple of games. Obviously, he was suspended, um, and so he, you saw him kind of start to find his find his gear tonight. And he finishes with two tackles. He had a sack. He had a tackle for a loss. Just really active. And I think that's that's what A and kind of been waiting for. Um, you know the young younger players got experience. They need to play better, uh, just discipline wise and 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 things like that, and clean some things up because there there's there's a couple of those guys that are going to be needed. Uh, but you know, continuing to contribute on special teams, we saw Deuce Harmon contribute on special teams with a good block that helps set up an I Smith touchdown. Uh, Tyree Chappelle with an interception. Uh, thought he had a really strong night tonight and a, a bounce back after a tough game against uh, Missouri. Um, again, this is the Texas A&M South Carolina postgame show on the Voices College Football. If you have any questions or, or thoughts of the game, feel free to chime, chime in and, and let me know what you thought of the game and, and, and what are some areas that you feel like A&M needs to work on during the bye week? Where do they go from here? Uh, what are some things that they need to clean up when they, when they take the field against Auburn on, on November 6th? Because uh, this is really the opportunity to take stock of of where they are as a program. And so what do you, what do you think they they need to improve on and, and what are some areas? And, you know, I think, I think there's a lot to build on though. And um, you know, this, it gets, it's amazing how this season has taken, taken a trajectory. I mean,